Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a movie reaction. This is Fate Grand Order Final Singularity The Grand Temple of Time Solomon movie reaction. All right, um, if you are, if, you know, if you follow my channel, you must must know that I am an FGO player and <clears throat> I've already like, you know, reacted to most of the things which are like, you know, FGO. I've, all, I've already reacted to the uh, movies, like, you know, Camelot, other, the other movies and everything. And Solomon came out very recently. So here I am ready to react to it again, uh, even though I know the story um, because I played it in, in the game. But still, like I'm really looking forward to the animation, and this is done by Cloverworks, which is another like you know thing to actually look forward to because <clears throat> Babylonia was fantastic. I loved it. So again, like you know Cloverworks, and I've heard that it's like you know Solomon has been great as well. So I'm looking forward to the animations, the music, each and everything. And even though I've played you know like Solomon, I've already played it in game. Um, there are a few parts that I've actually forgotten and which like you know which might I, I might get reminded of again after I see the movie so yeah that's another thing but my, the main parts I do remember so yeah so anyways um uh, let's get started with the movie and this will be like you know the usual movie reaction format I'll be only showing the subtitles here uh, you you'll have to like you know uh, sync your own video to my reaction I'll also be, be, provide the timer for you know convenience uh, sync it to my timer or the subtitles that I'll be providing and you know like watch the video alongside my reaction because YouTube copyright so yeah let's get started uh, with this movie and uh, obviously I'll react to it then I'll talk about it so yeah let's get started this is uh, the, fi uh, the final singularity uh, the temple of time Solomon movie reaction so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go and I might be a little bit you know quiet because it's in the middle of the night now <laughs> so I cannot scream that much <laughs> oh, that's a shame oh. But yeah, I I am quite excited, very much excited. All right. <coughs> All right, there he is. The man was born a king. Time of birth had come. Only knowledge. <coughs> Only once. Ten rings. <clears throat> yep which we had to oh my god all the singularities like summoning spells get here Okay. <coughs> wow, everyone's King's cruelty. <coughs> Steaman. He was a king who but smiled. <coughs> oh. Yeah. 
Oh boy, Fuyuki. Wait, who's this? <coughs> I don't recognize this guy. Who's this? <coughs> Immense wealth. Oh, Mars. Oh, that's Marsberry. Okay, makes sense. Okay, okay, it makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is like like a spoiler kind of thing. Like, I think he wished to. Okay, I'll I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it almost at the end. Yep, there is Romani. <clears throat> yep, there you go. <clears throat> hmm. Last break. <clears throat> Ten years. <coughs> oh, <laughs> four <was there. laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> premonition. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Wait! Up! <coughs> Good sample case. Just one. Oh, Da Vinci. <clears throat> oh, this mystic code. <clears throat> <clears throat> Practice your safety. How to do that? <coughs> hmm, yeah, makes sense. Ah, uh, yep, okay.
It's been a while I've seen Da Vinci in her adult form. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, like it's it's definitely needed at least in the final singularity. Okay. <coughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so sacrifice everything to win. Yeah, up until now, it's ka... <coughs> like, oh, okay, like up until now, Rizka had to just like, you know, just watch everyone, like, you know, sacrifice everything and he couldn't do anything because he's the last master. So I think this is like the first time that he gets an opportunity to do something on, on, you know, oh boy, here we go. <coughs> Yep. <clears throat> yeah, obviously. Tell you the truth. <coughs> yeah, oh boy. Hmm. Human history has no fan. Ah. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, true. Like I did not catch that much. Yep. Oh boy. <coughs> Wait, who's that? Oh, okay.
Oh, ok. Oh, well. Yeah, and she also doesn't have enough time left, so... <coughs> nah, all the singularities. Okay. Oh. Well, yep, four also needs to go because, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this fall just scampering around. Nine hundred BC. <coughs> For a subjective time. <coughs> All right. Yeah, that easy. <laughs> Oh boy, I remember the battle between, like, against Gatia. Oh, <laughs> that was scary. <clears throat> Seventy-two god, uh, demon god pillars. <clears throat>
All right. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, we're just jumping into battle. Yep, here we go. <laughs> oh. outside of time <coughs> all right <coughs> oh <laughs> damn that's a cool car Twenty kilometers to the center. Okay. Hmm. Greatest summoner. Not a possibility. Okay. Omnipotent power of the land. Before returning them to heaven. Okay. All right, the God Pillar, Demon God Pillar, here we go. Oh, we need a, okay, Marsh is here. She can, yeah, yeah, she can just defend us. <clears throat> Gate. Oh no, oh my God. This lev is, ugh. <clears throat> ah, great. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. We whose power and survive to send Continuing humanity, while us it was this incineration of humanity. Yeah.
I'm a seed left by Solomon under the phone. Collect would end it there, but yeah, but Ritzka came in. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well Oh, oh yeah, that Great, sub-boss before, <laughs> before we fight the original boss, we need to defeat the sub-boss Yeah All right, it's got time to summon summon your servants. Oh, great. Oh my god, he's gonna parachute the shield. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Support him. Okay. The first servant. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, who is he who is he summoning? Oh my god. Guardian of the scales. Who? Okay, who is this? Oh, Alexander, okay. Haha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Liv is like, wait, what's happening? This isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you forget him ab about Marsh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, Marsh is just. All right, here we go. Yeah, Marsh is actually keeping up with Bukafellas, you know? <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh. 
Oke. Okay. <coughs> I will summon. Just hold your horses. Oh. Oh. Um. Charles Henry Sanson. Yep. Uh. Ooh. Damn the noble phantasms. Oh. Oh my god, he he did he stabbed him. Oh. Okay, but Oh, Vlad. It's Vlad, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> there you go. Vlad is here. <coughs> oh, the noble phantasms. I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, who's this? Is this? <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, this is... Oh my god. Okay. Wow, so we already used three servants. Oh boy, Solomon is still left. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Yeah, three three of them is already used. <clears throat> oh great well tentacles oh damn wow oh there he is Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I've actually forgotten these portions. I... Damn, the, the visuals, just look at it, you know, not the animation, I'm talking about the art and the visuals, the animation is amazing. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of impossible, like killing all 72 of them at the same time. But we do have our servants with us, so... Naberius. Okay. <coughs> Farnes. Barbatos. Wow. I don't even remember their names. It's been a while I've played the singularities. Amon 
Sublock. Oh no. Oh, time to okay. Oh boy, we need more servants. Um, there you go. Oh, Jan is here. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> all right, here we go. All of them are ah. There you go. All of them ah. Nero, <laughs> Caligula, Kiyohime, Hector, Rama, Edison, Lancelot, Sanzang, Karash, Frankenstein, Charles. Oh. Okay, who's that? Kintoki. Jekyll and Hyde, Gawain, who's that? Oh, Ista, Ista is here, Quetzal Quattro, <laughs> Enkidu. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just broken. <laughs> Yep. Oh, Fergus, Diarmuid, Fionn. Oh, Anaboni. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, this is great actually, like, you know, seeing them being animated. Oh, Siegfried is here. Mozart, Gilderay, Maria Antoinette, Elizabeth. <laughs> All right. It's a shame that they don't have any like you know lines. <clears throat> no, Spartacus is here. Oh, everyone's here. My God. Damn. All right, here we go. The ultimate. Yep. The ultimate defense. <laughs> invincible. <laughs> Full party invincible. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, book of Yeah. We Wait, his horse did not go? Why? When he was called back to the throne of heroes? Ah, no! Okay, there you go. She has her kind of voice acting. Oh, Ru Ryofu. Oh, Darius is here as well. I think everyone is here. Yeah, arrogant empire. Ah! Romulus. <laughs> Roma. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Carmela. David is here. Okay. <laughs> Moderate. Tesla. Ah, Scott. <laughs> Nightingale. Karna. Ah. Lion King is here as well. Oh, Gorgon is here as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, everyone's here. Like, you know, all the characters that we met. And all the singularities. Yep. Okay. Ooh. All the servants sir. Wait, who's this? Is that left? Bile. Bile. Oh boy. Uh, book of Oaths. Hmm. Damn, look at the beautiful scene. My god. <sighs> well. <clears throat> okay. Okay, well, we are here. Wow, look, oh my god, the scenery. Damn. Oh, Book of Ellis is gone. <clears throat> oh. Okay, there you go. There he is. <coughs> oh boy. I have not allowed your audience. Putting the fishing. Uh... 
take to exceed the bands of that don't exist on earth okay okay How would I benefit from Damn his mouth. Oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> Looked upon was this planet's passion. And crystallization of it. Yeah. And that's why the singularity. Oh boy. This body is, yeah. <clears throat> Worst master of humanity. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, he still has his, um... Well, um... Damn. Okay. Alright, here we go. He's summoning them. Oh, wait, who's that? Oh, Geronimo. Damn! Oh! It's reducing! <clears throat> oh, who's that? Oh, Artemis! Oh, uh, and Orion, obviously. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, who's that? Oh, who's that? Oh, Al Altera, okay. Damn! Photon, <laughs> using Photon Blade. It's nice to see all these servants being animated, you know? Damn, nothing. Ugh, nothing. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's all the servants. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Oh my god. I exist in a...
I ruled a nation with someone. It was left behind as a primordial curse. Oh boy, here we go. There you go. Get ya, yep. <coughs> and Nega Hume Tier 2 Planet Class Beast There you go Damn. Remake this word. Yep. That's why the singularities. My God. Oh boy. Yeah, I remember this battle. Not fun at all. Oh, Nero is here. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, Drake is here as well. Enkidu. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh. Oh, there you go. Enkidu's. Okay. All right, what's that? Oh, is that Drake's attack? Damn. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Defend. Defense. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy. Oh! Damn! Damn, Nero is fighting 1v1. One, one one. Like, not 1v1. Oh, there you go. Mordred is here. <laughs> nice. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Nightingale? <laughs> Sterilizing. Alright, all the, all the main, main servants are coming from the Singularities. There's a Nightingale, Mordred, Nero, oh, Bedivere. Alright. Oh. Um, I don't think that worked, but yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, they're the main servants that we, you know. <clears throat> Damn. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no, Drake is. Oh boy. <coughs> oh boy, well. Third noble phantasm, it can be stopped. Only hey, yo, one is left still. I can see that. A world without death should be exactly what it's like. Yeah, he's like, yeah, like I'm doing something which nobody... So he thought like Marsh would be like the perfect person to understand his point of view. But unfortunately, no. Hmm. <clears throat> Meaning is it something humans find in their own lives while they're not? Oh boy. Oh. Damn, the animation. <laughs> Oh Damn, wow Yep, Lord Camelot Oh, yeah, it's kind of impossible. My God, look at that scale of destruction. 
Oh. Okay, she's still holding on. At the very end, I realized my wish. Oh. Oh. Come on, spells are gone. Oh boy. That's heavy, you know, that shield. <clears throat> well, there you go. There he is. Ah. Oh, boy. Well, uh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> yeah. When he made that wish.
Yeah. Oh, so that was the catalyst. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot about this part. He obtained the grail. Yeah, he had his wish. Oh, I want to be a human. There you go. That was the wish. <laughs> there was a problem okay Yeah, he saw the, the future, yeah. Yep. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> and just stalked by suffering. All right. Oh. <laughs> For a time. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. True first noble phantasm. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Ars Nova. My God, oh, oh my God, he just got whacked into the throne.
Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the freedom to get mad. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, I have all the servers. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. His command spells came back. Or was it already? Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god. Damn. Whoa, oh my god, yo, how, how can you even fight this? Oh, Gilgamesh is here. Oh, Dantes, oh. Oh boy, oh my god. 
I was wondering what that shadow was from the beginning. It was Dante's. Makes sense so much. Oh, oh Rama's here. Oh no. We need someone to defend. Okay, David. Quetzal Coato. Oh. Up, <laughs> Skahat. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Dad! Yo, Kotaro. Oh my God! Oh, Uchiwaka. Oh, nice. Okay, there you go. Wow. Damn. Oh my god, Scott is just like <laughs> popping holes in all the tentacles. Ah, uh, is that? Oh, Asterios. My god. Ah. Uh, Wow, the shield just went through him. Ah. Oh. We already gave you our answer. Oh my god. This wax go hit you in the face. Yeah, there you go. It's the most simple answer. Oh, here we go. This scene. Oh boy. All right, let's get ready. Ooh. Yep. Let's get ready. Or overestimated you. Ah, <sighs> well. Oh my god. This... Okay, okay.
<laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, there you go. That's the end. Oh boy, here we go. Anytime, anytime. And here we go. Okay, there you go. It started with Fujimaru giving his hand to Mars and it ended with Mars giving his ha her hand to Fujimaru. <laughs>
Damn. Like these two scenes are like my most favorite. Like, you know, the whole scene with Marsh and Fo, that scene and the previous scene, you know, where um uh the scene the, the scene with where Fujimoto takes up uh Marsh's shield. Wait, didn't they show us the scene with Fo? I'm sure they'll show us. Okay, there you go. I think now, now, okay. There you go. This scene. Ah, oh, for monies. And yeah, the loss, uh, the loss will start after this. So. <laughs> Wait, they didn't show us the scene with four? What? Oh yeah, this, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did didn't show us the scene with four? Or are they going to show us show it to us after this? I'll be very disappointed if they did not if they actually do not show us. <laughs> four. Where is four seen? I was just talking about how that's one of my most favorite scenes and they did not even put that in here. What is this? They really did not put four scene. Why? It would have taken just like one minute or something for that scene. Like, 
I was just talking about how I loved that scene so much in the game and like I was waiting for it and <laughs> Anyways, let's just read this Okay, there you go. There's this the Oh my god, I, I doubt half people will be able to understand what the hell happened here. People who have played the game will be able to understand this, but... Like, they're just doing it like this? Okay, th th there you go, there you go, there's the scene. Oh, <laughs> there you go, okay, thank god they did not cut that off, my god. Okay, there you go. I'm happy now. I'm happy. But the way they did this, I, I doubt a lot of people will understand this, who, who, who have not played the game. I doubt they'll understand what the hell happened here. Damn, this song is great. <laughs> Wow, all right, that's good. Okay, at least they put that in, that scene in. Like, I, I, I doubt a lot of people will understand this who have not played the game. But for people who have played the game, who they will obviously be able to recognize this scene. Like, especially if you don't have any, like, you know, prior, what do you call it, information about the whole what beasts actually are and like you know what actually happened i doubt people will understand this whole scene like this like, you know and what what happened here but yeah but i i doubt anyone will even watch this without playing the game i don't know who knows i'm pretty sure like everyone who played the game will actually watch this and people who have no like you know prior clue who knows? <laughs> Wait, which studio was also involved in this? Really? I did not know that. Oh damn, that's like a... I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Yep. Anything left? Okay.
All right, that's the end. Oh boy. Ah. <clears throat> All right, that's the end. Okay, so for people who who actually have no idea about the game, who have not played the game, I would heavily recommend everyone. You know, if like you know, if you actually liked this, like you know, this movie, and you liked Babylonia. I would recommend heavily for you guys to actually start the game because I don't know how many adaptations I'm sure we'll get more adaptations hopefully in the of, of for the lost wells in the future as well but I don't know how many they will actually adapt or they even have plans in adapting but like it's it gets actually it, it actually gets better from here this is just a start like that's why I'm going to I'm, I'm going to recommend each and every one of you who are like you know who's who's new to this franchise who's new to fate franchise uh you might be confused <laughs> that's pretty normal <laughs> I I've been playing this, this game for how many 5 years and I'm still confused about a lot of things so <laughs> it's pretty normal but like if you if you actually enjoyed your time you know like watching the movie like you know watching babylonia and, and the normal fake stuff i would heavily recommend you to start the game because it actually gets even better from here and it gets better and better as the like you know as the different uh, story chapters you conclude like this it, it it does seem like the end this does seem like the end but no this is just the beginning actually <laughs> So yeah, I would heavily recommend every one of you who are actually interested to start the game because yeah, it's it's fantastic. Like um I've like I'm honestly speaking, I've played a lot of gacha games, you know, like I've played a lot of gacha games. I've you know, like played like picked something up, played for like you know, one or two months, and, like you know, left it and then played again. There are a few gacha games that I like you know, religiously play. One of it is Fate Grand Order and you know like it's not because of the characters like obviously it's because of like you know there, there's a part of me that really loves fate grand order because of the characters as well but not all the reason is because oh the characters are so cool i i want to play this gacha game not because of that fate grand order's main attraction is the story and i think most like 90 percent of the people who are continuing in this gacha hell like <laughs> Uh, even even though I'm, 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 I know a lot of people who don't get good enough servants, they're depressed all along, but they still keep playing this because the story is so good, you know, like, and, and the story is so good that it actually, uh, like, you know, like a good story means good characters. Good story automatically means good characters and a good story, like, you know, the story actually elevates the characters that we actually meet in this story. Uh, in 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 the uh, you know in, in in the game, and it's fantastic. And um, like the whole thing with Ritsuka, Ritsuka Fujimaru, he she, he is supposed he or she you know is supposed to be a self insert character. You know, like um, I do remember the time in like you know when I started the game where he basically had no interaction at all. The the you know the only interaction that he or she did was the little dialogues you know the little options and the options didn't even matter you know by the end you just picked an option and both the options like you know uh, resulting dialogue were the same and he he was just like there for the sake of it you know like you you, you need you need a character you know you, you need a character to be the main protagonist that's just Riska Fujimaru but as time went on and on and on I think they themselves also started actually putting in like you know actual effort in in the main character as well like he he changed from a self-insert character to an actual part of the show uh, part of the game and i think solomon did it like you know like solomon was the the place where he actually really does so many things and here's where he actually like you know transforms from uh, just a uh, you know added character or just for the sake of it to an uh, actual full-fledged character of of the show in itself and you know that's why like i've seen a lot of people actually like you know like people who are not accustomed to who, who don't play fate grand order like i've seen in babylonia as well a lot of people say that oh like what is this main character he's so like you know <laughs> like, you know he's so like you know like does nothing almost like you know like doesn't contribute anything 
but that's that's because of a reason as i said like you know like riska started as a self insert protagonist you know she was he he was not a part of the story in itself he was just there for the sake of it but it it changed and it changed as time went on and he's now he's like a really like a, like a part of the story in itself so that's the reason and you know like like fate story is always i I've, i've always been attracted with fate story like it started from fate stay night you know like and i like the main thing that actually made me cling into the fate franchise is because of the unique thing of you know like um, heroic spirits are actual people who lived or were part of a legend or something like you know these are these are like actual real stuff and i love that like that's that's the thing that actually made me cling into fate and just keep hanging on and like i've i've never actually like you know liked any franchise like you know in anime franchise more than the fate franchise never and the biggest reason is because of this that you know like the heroic spirits or whatever they're all part of uh, like you know our history or our legends that we used to read and i love that so yeah this is this is this is basically the start of the thing you know after this a lot of things happened the lost spells and if you guys don't know people who don't know the lost spells happen and the lost spells are even better than the singularities i really do hope that they actually have plans in adapting the lost spells as well i really hope and i would love to see them being you know like animated in the future hopefully so yeah anyways okay this uh, this you know this is the final singularity fantastic like my my uh, what do you call it mm, my opinion on this movie um it was great as always you know like the animation and like you know not, nothing to complain about the animation the visuals the sound the music nothing to complain about uh only one thing i would say again like you know this like i really did not i expected a little bit more is a force scene you know that scene i i i like you know that's what i said like i force scene was one of my most favorite scenes in solomon like it was so amazing i still remember it and not only force scene but also riska scene as well where he takes up the shield uh that was shown properly but i feel like force scene was done in a very vague manner like i doubt half of the people who have not played the game would be able to understand what happened there and like you know like even if they stop and read the the, the sentences you know like the, the the last part the the end credit scenes actually gave us that dialogue that for actually told marsh you know this scene okay where is it Okay there you go this one um there are some evils that can be defeated without shedding blood or crossing blades that is what has made this possible congratulations to you the wonderful people of kalda you have defeated beast 4 without so much as a single blow like this part like the way it was actually shown i i don't know why they made took this decision to actually like you know show it like this like people who have played the game will be able to understand this scene i don't think anyone else will okay once i've done this i will just be an ordinary beast i don't want you to worry nothing will change for you still it is a bit of a lonely way to go out so i wanted to say goodbye here at the end okay um is there anything else no and then then that scene comes up you know where marsh is just like you know sleep not like lying down fo comes and gives a little peck and yeah marsh wakes up oh boy like this is this was my most favorite scene in in the game and I have to say like I like the way they did it here you know like the the little animation where Ma- Marsh is like you know just laying down who comes gives her a peck and she wakes up like I like this part 
but the way they kind of explained it is a little weird in my opinion like they did not properly explain it i i, I was expecting like you know like a full-fledged scene of four just sitting there you know explaining like not explaining but talking about that whole scene you know like the the the, the dialogue that he said you know in the in end credit scene during the end credit scene i thought he would actually say that and like you know and then we were going to see how marsh came back they did not show us it they did not do it like that i don't know why but this is also good in its own way like you know like it's like kind of like a style more stylish way they actually did it you know in the end credit scene they, they showed us so yeah <coughs> So, like, as far as I remember, you know, this scene, uh, for people who, like, you know, like, who, who did not understand what happened here, as far as I remember, um, Fo was a beast, you know, and beasts are actually, like, uh, you know, like, like, for example, Gaetia was beast 1, Fo was beast 4, and, um, like, beasts are actually things that threaten humanity. So, Fo was supposed to be someone who would threaten humanity in the future. But four, like, you know, hanged around with Marsh and the crew all, all the time. And, you know, in this scene, he actually decides, like, you know, like the all the mana that he has gathered up all up until this time, you know, to, like, you know, like to, to I guess, destroy humanity, the thing that he, he was doing, like gathering mana. Uh, he used that up to give Marsh. Oh, they did not even give us that information. To give Marsh a normal human life of, I think, 80 years. As far as I can remember, that's what Fo said. Yeah, they did not give us that information. I don't know why. Like, in, in the game, they did, like, you know, like, mention in the end, Fo, Fo, saying, Fo said that um, I'm going to give you a normal human life, 80 years. You're going to be alive. That is, like, a normal like, you know, lifespan of a human being. I'm going to gift you that. You know, using all the mana that I've gathered, that i've been gathering up um, up until now you know like i'm using that to revive you so congratulations you know you you didn't have to do anything to stop me i who was the beast in you know beast number four you know who was supposed to be become a threat for humanity you defeated me without any punches and like you know now now after like you know using my ability and by giving you life i'm going to become like you know i'm, I'm going to fade away but four will be there or will just become a normal animal you know like I, but i won't be here anymore like i think that's what like that's what what the scene was that's full scene i'm i might be wrong though like, as i said it's been a while I've, I've actually played the first uh like you know the final singularity this scene was so one of my most beloved scenes so i do remember like you know like little bits and pieces of it so if i'm wrong you know people who are who have played the game if i'm wrong about anything correct me down in the comment section but as far as I can remember, that's basically what happened there. So, yeah, like this, like, I don't know why they did it like this. But yeah, it's still like that's that was like my small little complaint about this. Other than that, everything was great. Very well done. You know, um, I enjoyed each and every part. Uh, the animation, fantastic. As I said, the, the uh, sound of uh, the music, the songs, each and everything. It was just great and it, it was such a joy to actually see so many servants you know animated even though half of them did not have any <laughs> half of them did not have any type of they, they were just there but still i enjoyed it you know like i i like i liked seeing nero for a little bit she also had a little bit of a voice acting um and also had a little bit of voice acting drake had a voice acting nightingale had voice acting the main ones the main characters had voice acting as far as i can remember um of, uh, i think yeah like nero was from singularity 2 you know the main character uh, uh in singularity 3 was drake in singularity 4 was mordred i think singularity 4 was london wasn't it yeah mordred in singularity 5 was nightingale it was america and in Singularity 6, it was obviously Gilgamesh and... No, sorry. In Singularity 6, it was Arthur. Arthur and... No, not Arthur. Sorry, Bedivere. Arthur was the antagonist. Bedivere. Bedivere was the main guy. Um, in Singularity 6. Yeah, Bedivere also had lines. 
Singularity 7, it was Enkidu and Gilgamesh. Both of them had lines as well. So yeah, yeah, all the main characters. All the main characters, they had lines. So yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah, and I was I was actually surprised that they actually like you know animated so many of the servants. Like we had a lot of servants. We saw a lot of servants here, even though they did not have any lines. We saw them, you know, they were at least animated. For example, a few of them I was really surprised of, like I'm surprised to see was um uh, Gorgon. Number one is Gorgon. I was like, wait a minute, they even animated Gorgon over here. And uh, another character that I was uh, kind of surprised to suddenly see, like, you know, she popped up was Carmilla. But they were also part of the singularities as far as I can remember. Yeah, like, obviously, Gorgon was there as well. And Carmilla was also, I don't remember which singularity she was in, but she was in one of the singularities. I don't remember which one. She was in one of them. So, yeah, basically, all the characters that were in the singularity, all of them were, um, like, you know, animated. So that was fantastic. I love that. And uh, yeah, that, yeah, that was it. Okay, so <clears throat> the story as like, and I already knew the story, you know, like, like most of the things I remembered, a few parts I forgot, then it kind of like, you know, refreshed my memories. So nothing much to talk about the story, you know, like, like, I, 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 I doubt, like, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm sure most people have seen, like, you know, have played the game. So nothing much to talk about the story. Everyone knows the story. And uh, yeah, like, <clears throat> like, this is what I loved about, like, I do remember me playing this uh, story for the first time in, like, you know, in the singularity. And uh, I do remember, like, as I said, like, you know, I used to actually check out the new servants who came out, you know, uh, when I, when I played the game, when I was, when I, when I played the game, um, I used to check out all the new servants that came out, you know, like w what servants they are, whenever like there's a new JP servant coming out, I used to check them out. That's all I did, you know, like, um, since I did not play the JP version. So like the thing here is like, I already knew that Marsh wouldn't die. Like not only the, like obviously in this like you know, while watching the movie everybody knew like who played the game that Marsh wouldn't die but I'm talking about the time when I played the game you know for the first time in Solomon um I knew that Marsh wouldn't die but I did not know how she would come back that was like a part of uh, a mysterious thing for me I did not know that but I knew that Marsh wouldn't die because I I knew that he she, like you know she had parts uh, like in in the main story after the singularity ends. So I knew that he she would somehow come back, but I did not know how. So the, the surprise factor for me here was not Marsha dying, but not knowing how she's going to come back. So the whole scene with Foe was a real, like, you know, what can I say? That's why I, I adored the scene with Foe so much. Because, you know, like, I knew Marsh wouldn't die, but I did not know how she's going to come back. And Foe's scene basically actually gave us that explanation, how she came, comes back again. And that's why I loved that scene so much. Like that, since that's one that was like one of the most mysterious part of the of while I I played the game, and uh, I, I loved it so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's just something that I wanted to say. You know, like I I I I remember myself playing Solomon, and like when Marsh died, I was like, wait a minute, she's dying. Like, but I do know that she is going to continue the story afterwards as well because the lost bills are ongoing and marsh is still alive there so what happens here you know and then the whole scene happens with four and i'm like oh okay that's why <laughs> so yeah anyways mm. yeah so that was it that was uh the grand uh uh kind of the final singularity solomon you know, it, it, it was a great movie and I'm, I'm sure like, you know, I, I, I'm sure like a lot of most people will like this. Uh, a lot of people might be a little bit confused who, who did not play the game. Uh, but, uh, you know, like um, I, I doubt many people who have not played the game will actually watch this. I'm not sure. Like, you know, I, I don't know how many people like, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure this is this, this, this became very popular. You know, this is very popular. It has a great rating, a very decent rating in my anime list i have seen it and um, but i don't know how many people watched it who have no idea about the game like that's like that's a question i have like who knows like i i, I do even wonder like is anyone even going to watch this who have who does not play the game 
I'm sure a lot of people will who are like you know like just casual fate fans or some people but yeah like and I do wonder if there will be people who actually decide to start the game after watching this I'm sure there will be I'm sure there will be quite a few people <laughs> so yeah anyways um yeah that's it that was yeah that was this uh movie and uh yeah fantastic and i'm i'm i like you know for, for me I, I would i would give this like a uh how much 8.5 out of 10 because i you know, you know what i feel like um babylonia like I, I still like babylon is like one of my personal favorites you know in 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 uh, like you know in, in the anime and this was great in itself but i feel like this would have been uh i don't know this could have been better if they actually did it in anime format you know like movie was good but if they actually like you know like gave it like how many like um like eight or nine episodes you know like and adapted it i think it would have been better you know i don't know it's just that's that's just my opinion since babylonia was done like you know with um what can i say like with so many episodes like they gave it actual like you know how many episodes like 24 or something yeah they actually gave it like 24 episodes to adapt babylonia it was done so well you know they, they didn't have to cut stuff they didn't have to like you know like they, they were able to adapt everything very like properly and very nicely and that's why babylon is like one of my personal favorites because it was done so well so like you know if actually someone actually told me to rate like you know like to compare this and babylonia i would obviously like you know uh, rate babylonia a lot higher than this this was good but um yeah i think babylonia was even better it, it was even better done so yeah anyways and that's just my opinion by the way so yeah anyway so that was it that was my reaction so i really hope they actually start and like, you know like they, they at least think about um adapting the lost belts um so the question is which lost belt would i like to be adapted that's a hard that's a tough one you know that's a really tough one like um as i said like you know um all these singularities uh, not singularities sorry the, the, all the lost belts it actually gets better every lost belt the story uh, currently lost belt 5 is my favorite so if like you know i would actually like if if any lost belt is adapted i would like it to be either lost belt 4 uh, yeah lost belt 4 or lost belt 5 for why because i'm an indian I would love to see the Indian Lost Belt being like you know animated. That would be very cool. And the story was amazing as well. I love Lost Belt Four. Like and before Lost Belt Five came in, Lost Belt Four was like my most favorite story. But then came Lost Belt Five, and now Lost Belt Five is my most favorite <laughs> story. Uh, so like who knows? Maybe when Olympus will come out, maybe Olympus will become my most favorite one. <laughs> I can see that happening. <laughs> but yeah so lost belt 4 or lost belt 5 i would love to see them them adapted if they actually plan on adapting the epic of the remnants like you know arc i would love to see shimosa adapted shimosa was my most favorite you know like i i loved shimosa so much i would love to see it adapted if if they think about like you know adapting the epic of the remnant but i doubt that will happen you know like if if like there is a chance of them actually adapting the lost spells but i don't think there is any chance for them adapting the epic of the remnant arc i doubt that <laughs> so yeah so lost spell 4 or lost spell 5 i would lo love to see them adapted so yeah let's just wait for it and you know hope for the best in the future and uh, yeah so i think uh, the next project that uh, type moon is going to uh, work on uh, you know the like anime adaptation is i think um Mautsukai no yoru yeah like i think that's the, that's like the uh, the next project they have the big project Mautsukai no yoru um the you know the, the movie adaptation so uh, i don't know if they have any other plans of like you know like in in, in the fate franchise any ad adaptation plan but yeah let's just wait for it i'm sure they will like, you know if they have any other plan to ad adapt any of the laws i'm sure they're they're going to let us know in the 
you know near future so yeah anyway so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to um the final singularity uh a fate grand order solomon so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out um i put out fgo videos like this you know normal fgo video reaction amvs you know gameplay you know, all that stuff i put out like you know once or twice a week um i'll uh, if you guys want to check out my other fgo videos you can uh, check the description box i'll be linking down my fgo playlist you can click on it and it'll take you to all my other fgo videos so yeah so that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh in the next video in the next video that i like you know do of you know fgi i'll probably like react to some amvs and stuff you know in, in the near future and i do plan on like you know uh recording my gameplay of the valentine's event the fgo valentine's events that's going to come i i do plan on recording that so see you guys then uh so until then goodbye and have a nice day